Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back. Well, today we got overcast conditions, but it's actually warmer than it has been. It's actually 57 degrees outside, um, and I'm seeing fish up shallow um, here in the pond. So I got a few hours to fish. I've got several different things tied on, a crankbait, chatterbait. Um, I've got a Ned Rig tied on. Uh, what else I got tied on over there? But I think I'm going to tie on a topwater. Um, because uh, I'm seeing them up really shallow and up against the bank and I might throw a whopper popper on and see if I might get a few on there but we're gonna get out here and uh, see if we can catch a few fish um, it's been a lot colder out you know lately so having 57 degree day um, early in the morning like this is pretty awesome we got a bunch of rain that's supposed to be coming so that's probably why but uh, hopefully we're gonna get on some fish so stay tuned let's see what we're gonna catch All right, guys, first thing I'm gonna throw, Whopper Whopper 75. I'm seeing if it's really up shallow. It might. Hang the tar slide of this thing. No, 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 no. Can't be losing my Whopper Whopper. All right, guys, I broke off my whopper popper. It's over in the tree over there, and I can't get it back. So I'm going to chuck this bill loose crankbait, which is probably not going to work in here because there's so much grass. But I'm just curious what it looks like in the water. Well, that's a pretty sweet-looking bait. All right, guys, I have been switching things out. I'm going to try a little baby wake bait. Um... This is a Rapala. It's a little mini, mini wake bait. Doesn't dive that deep, but oh, there's one right there. Bam. Yep. Well, let me turn that up. All right, wake bait one right there, smack over. <laughs> well, there you go. Ow, 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 almost got a treble hook in the finger there. That would have sucked. Oh, need some pliers, need some pliers. All right. All right, guys, first one of the day on a little baby wake bait. Gotta say, I'm happy about that. It took me a while to get one, but that might be the ticket today. Oh, where's my phone? Where is my phone? Oh, good grief. Did not bring my phone. I swear, I'm not together. All right, that's the first one today, guys. There you go. We got him. We'll get a picture off of that. See you, bud. All right, guys. Got that first one this little Rapala lake bait. Score one for it. Oh, there's one. Got him. It's a gillfish. <laughs> That's a big gill, though. Look at that. He said, bloop. He said, I'll take that. All right, bud. Chill out. All 
not a bad looking fish. All right, guys, we're gonna get him back. Appreciate you, little dude. Thanks. All right, guys, this is number two on the little wake bait. Nothing big, but. At least they're biting it. We'll take him too. No little bass, number three. Even with one of my trebles broken, we're still getting a good hookup ratio with these guys. All right. There we go. Another little bass. All right, guys. Nothing big, but fun to catch. See you, bud. He's off. All right, guys. A little Rapala weight bait. <laughs> That's what I'm catching them on. I am reduced to that. All right, guys, so far, the only thing that's getting bit is this little wake bait. <laughs> kind of crazy, but it's getting bit. There he is. Big old sunfish, but we got him. These guys are so pretty, man. I don't care what you say. Bluegills, pretty fish. Amazing colors. And they don't get the respect they deserve, that's for sure. Because this is what our big bass feed on. All right, guys. We're going to get him back. Pretty fish. Thanks for biting my line. See you, bud. All right, guys. I'm throwing on my little... Crankbait. Oh, there's one. Yep. Boom, there's a bass right there. All right, so that was a good switch up. There's a nice little bass. A little bit of fun pond fishing today. All right, guys, nothing big, but another nice little bass. Fun pond bass. Got him. Yeah, man. <laughs> Boom. All right. Look at that, guys. Double hooked in the mouth. <laughs> Don't think he was going anywhere. He tackled that pretty good. Nice little bass, nothing big, but we're getting some, William, he's chomping on my finger. Let go. 
Hi guys, nothing big, but nice, nice little bass. So, fun little day of pond fishing. Let's see if we can repeat that. We're not getting anything big, but we sure are having some fun. So, and that's what fishing is for me. All about getting out, having some fun. Catching some fish, feeling that tug on my line. And there's another one. He's already on the beach. <laughs> Didn't even finish my sentence. Got another fish. Another little bass. Piece of meat on him. All right, guys, another little bass, nothing big, but catch them right off of that grass right there. So we're gonna keep going over here. All right, guys, another little guy. See, you, bud, he's off. They're in this grass. So back over here on this side. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I had a really fun morning of pond fishing, man. I had a great time. And this little Rapala weight bait right there got it done for me today. Fishing my 7.2 Enigma spinning rod with my IP130 reel from Enigma. Um, I love this setup. Um, I love my HPT setup as well. I mean, they're just great rods and reels. If you haven't checked out Enigma, you really should. Um, they just make really good stuff, and they're a great company to be involved with and getting stuff from. Um, so yeah, that's it, man. I mean, I caught some bass, caught some bluegills, had some fun, caught a bunch of fish. Um, only fished for a couple hours, and it was just a lot of fun. Um, this pond has been really tough because of the grass, so the fact that there's a bite on and I'm catching some fish, I'm pretty excited about. And uh, yeah, I just had a fun day. Sometimes you got to downsize your baits to try to catch some fish. Sometimes they don't want the big stuff. Sometimes they want the small stuff. And so I downsized my baits, and I started catching fish. As soon as I downsized them, boom, started catching fish. So I'll take those little ones all day long over not catching anything at all. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned stuff from my videos. That's the whole point of me making videos, and I just enjoy doing it. But um, I'm trying to show you guys what I catch stuff on. Hopefully that helps you in when you're fishing and stuff. I mean, everybody's area is different. Depending on where you live in the state, what part of the country you live in, Things are going to be different. For me, I live in the northeast region of the country. I live in Virginia, and these are the baits that work really good for me in Virginia. And work a lot of the baits will work all over the country. I've fished in about 25 states so far, and I have several baits that are go-tos that I can use in any one of those states, and I'll catch fish. So it's just a matter of figuring the fish out. And the fish, I mean, the bite changes day to day. I mean, one day you can go out and you can hammer them on a crankbait, and the next day they won't touch it, and you're catching them on, you know, um, Cinco's or something. I mean, you just never know, but you got to start out with something. I have my start out baits and then I just work my way around my box and keep moving. And for me, I usually fish a bait between 10 and 20 minutes each bait before I drop and switch something. Most of the time I give one of them, each one of them about 15 minutes as I'm casting and then I'll drop and pick up something else and drop and pick up something else and just kind of keep rolling through and I keep cycling back through until I get a bite. And then if none of those things get a bite, you know, after I've cycled through them a couple times, I changed those baits. And if you guys watched one of my last videos, I changed everything and started over. And then I actually started catching a few fish. So sometimes you got to do that. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy these pond videos because I enjoy doing them because I know a lot of you guys are bank fishermen and you don't have a boat or a kayak to get out on. So that's why I do these as well. And um, I hope you guys are just enjoying the channel. So yeah, do me a favor, hit that like button, that subscribe button, that ding dong button, all those things you got to do for YouTube. And then just do yourself a favor, get out there, get your lines wet, and catch some fish.